I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 right here. And today I want to show you how to install over the air updates on the Redmi Note 7 and the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Even if you have TWRP installed as your current recovery image. This will also work if you have root installed. Basically, we are getting around every way that prevents you from installing the official MIUI over-the-air updates through the regular notification system and the regular MIUI update method. So if you have root or TWR in TWRP installed, you're still going to be getting these update notifications telling you, hey, you have an update waiting and that you need to update. So as you can see here, currently on 10.2.7.0 of MIUI Global, and I'm being told that I need to update to 10.3.5.0. So even though I have TWRP installed and Magisk installed, I just wanna show you what happens when you try to install an over-the-air update with this. So what MIUI is assuming is that you have the Mi Recovery installed. So it's going to download that over the air update. It's going to tell you to reboot so it can install it. And it's going to reboot into recovery mode. Now again, TWRP or MIUI is going to assume that you have Mi Recovery installed because that's the way that it wants to install that update. However, as you just saw, we're gonna get an error whenever we try to update that way. So a way to get around this and to actually be able to install over the air updates when you have TWRP installed you're going to need to manually download what is known as the recovery ROM for the update you are wanting to install. And as I just told you, I am on 10.2.7.0 and I was being instructed to update to 10.3.5.0. So what I went is I went into Google and I put in MIUI 10.2.7.0 3.5.0 uh, recovery ROM and it brings up a whole bunch of results usually pick the XDA thread that links to the recovery ROM for a particular update that you want to install you just need to make sure that it's for your particular device so make sure if you're going on XDA that the recovery ROM being linked for that version of MIUI is in, in this case, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 forum. It, is a, it should be a zip file as opposed to the fastboot ROM, which is a TGZ file and is a lot bigger than just the recovery ROM. Once you have downloaded that recovery ROM, we're going to move or copy it to our Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 or Note 7 Pro. Again, if you are manually updating the Note 7 Pro, then just make sure your recovery ROM download link is from the Redmi Note 7 Pro XDA forum or a post or article specifically for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Again, once that has been downloaded, we're gonna move and copy that file over to the smartphone. And I'm going to do that right now and then show you how to install that. So we are just wrapping up on, on copying this file. Again, it should be about 1.5 gigabytes, depending on how big the update is. And that has been now been moved over to my Redmi Note 7. So once that's done, once you have moved 
or copied the recovery ROM for the update you want to install to your smartphone, we're going to go on and tap the install button from the TWRP main menu. And we're going to browse to wherever we downloaded that ROM, which in this case is in our downloads folder. So we're going to, you're going to need to tap that zip file that we just copied to the smartphone and we're going to tap it and swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation. Now there's two ways we can go about that. We could actually have tapped the add more zips file and then added Majisk to be installed afterwards because what we're currently doing, we're installing a brand new update, which is going to overwrite our current boot image, which is currently patched for Majisk. So that's going to be an issue for anybody who has Majisk installed. However, all you have to do is install Majisk after you install the update, before you reboot, and you're good to go. No, you don't have to if you want. You can just install the update, press reboot, and have MIUI without Majisk installed. However, I like to keep Majisk and TWRP installed, so I'm going to be installing Majisk right after installing this over-the-air update. See, all of that scrolling text is normal. As long as you don't get an error like we got before, then we're good to go. Again, if you want, you can reboot the system. Again, I'm going to be installing the JISC, which I could have done by tapping the add more zips file after installing the update. I just wanted to show you that it wasn't required. And again, now to make sure that we don't have any errors, we're just going to go and tap that reboot system button now. And that will reboot our Xiaomi Redmi Note 7, or possibly in your case, the Note 7 Pro. And it's going to take us right back into the MIUI operating system. Now again, this is going to act just as if we have installed the over-the-air update through MIUI's built-in updater or through the notification. You're not going to lose any of your data. You're not going to have to download your photos or emails or applications or anything like that. As you can see, we have booted right back into Android, into the same operating system we had before, except now we have gain and update. Again, as you can see, we still have Majisk installed since I flashed that zip file. You may even be told that the update to MIUI has been successful. But I just want to show you that when we go into About Phone, 
Now, again, we are on the 10.3.5.0, and we do not have any over-the-air updates waiting for us. So there you have it. Even though you have TWRP installed, even though you have Majisk installed, you can still get the latest over-the-air updates. You just have to download them and install them manually, which isn't very hard for anybody who's familiar with TWRP and flashing zip files in that custom recovery. That is how to manually install over-the-air updates on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and Note 7 Pro. Even though you have TWRP or Majisk installed.